Hey, what up, Crackers? This is Nice. This is episode three of the off meta challenger claw. I'm sorry if my brain was blanking. I think it's because I've picked such a ridiculous strategy. This came from a commenter. Uh, his name was what the heck was his name? Rexafrec. And he was basically like, hey, you should try this guy's build. This is a Korean challenger build. This guy made high elo play in this tank Cassidan build. So we're going to give it a run. Basically, I looked it over already, and it appears that he's mostly doing uh, a tier rush. He goes, um, he goes, what is this called? Unsealed spellbook. He doesn't buy boots very often, although this might be an exception because I'm facing all AD, looks like. So I, I think Tabby's is fine here. He likes to go Abyssal mask well he likes to get a tier abyssal mask frozen heart uh and just keep building out item it looks like if i could pull up his op.gg here while we're loading he likes to do oh this this is his other thing by the way too tank leona top which maybe in you know maybe some videos down the line we could try that out but he essentially just likes to build a lot of tank items and he does it he, he, he likes to go Abyssal Mass, Frozen Heart, and it looks like he just keeps stacking up. He goes Mogs, he'll go Thorn Mail. I don't know what his full build. I, I've never seen a full build, and that's just... I've played in Korea before, and uh, you don't get to full build very often on that server. So this is a uh, it's a very unique strategy. Um, this may be a wash. This may go terribly. Um, but I do play Kassadin from time to time, so I have a tendency to know his weaknesses and his strengths. Uh, in this case here, it looks like Emacs would probably be the best move because you're facing all AD and versus all AD or first AD matchups is casted and you have a tendency to go uh Emax anyways. So yeah, let's give this one a run. I I this is one of those strategies where I would have to see it for myself to really understand what the fuck is going on. Um I looked at it a couple times, but it's one of those things you're not really gonna understand until you actually try it. So let's give it a try. And also spellbook, I'm not gonna lie to you, spellbook's a little weird in that I don't use it very often. One of the cool things about this off-meta challenger climb is that as we're doing these, I'm also getting practice, practice in on some unique builds and strategies and play styles that I just may have forgotten about. All right, we're off to a good start. We got the talent getting picked off. It's not what you want to see. Um, right now, I'm going to tell you right away, the goal with top lane is going to be, first and foremost, you need to survive lane phase. You got to survive. Uh, if you're not surviving the lane, then uh, you're going to be hurting. Definitely play passive in these types of lanes. Don't be dumb. Um, I imagine this is more about scaling than anything. I mean, you are playing Kassadin. Um, the idea I I would imagine would be we're going to get those items built out, those late game items, and we're going to be impossible to knock out of a side lane, and we're going to have basically omnipotent presence with a lot of mana and a lot of beef in our stats and a lot of janky summoners to pull out when we want to when we want to defend all ends and all and, and dives. I'm perfectly happy with giving up some farm. Uh, I've watched his gameplays, and he does definitely give up farm when contested too hard, or too too hardly, I should say, too often. But we are we can poke him a little bit. We're we're perfectly able to do that. We have a lot of sustain behind. But again, I'm I'm gonna be chilling under tower it's versus Aatrox. AD matchups in general versus Cassidan are not fun early on. Uh, Cassidan is basically balanced around beating APs and not ADs. So if we know that, then we uh, we adjust our lane position accordingly. All right, our guy is probably dead, our Udyr. But they're getting some pressure. They're kind of trolling, to be honest. This is one of the dangers of picking something like Cassidan, is that you can't assist in these early goof fights. I don't know how he dies with... Well, actually, this is fine. The lane is frozen for us, so... Aatrox missing quite a bit. I don't think the guys get... Oh, he is. Okay, well, he's dead. Aatrox TP. You just gotta keep chilling. That's the that's the key with casting. You're just chilling. You just wait and hope your team doesn't feed too badly. That's really all there is to it. Oops. Misread my 
my W there. So we're ahead in farm. Uh, Aatrox is going to catch up though. Slowly but surely. We don't want to fight very often. We just want to chill. If he gets out of line, we'll slow him and back away. I'm gonna barrier. I'm basically gonna use everything that I can to try to kill this guy. <laughs> if I had gotten level five, I just needed one more creep. I just needed one more creep, and I think I win that. It's very close. I can see how it's deceptive in a way, where the opponent doesn't know what the hell you're doing. But it's very, very close. Remember that Aatrox did get a kill, and he came back with items. We had no items, so before I get flamed too hard in the comments for going for that, just realize if that was an even fight, if he didn't get any kills, and he came back to lane with just, just a Doran's Blade, we actually would have won that trade. So it's not bad. It's actually not that bad of a look for the build. It's just... It's a little weird. The fight was a little weird. I kind of had to commit to it once he uh, started stepping over the minions. We have no mobility, so we kind of have to, with the wave push, we have to defend our wave. But that wasn't that disappointing, to be honest. I, I'm i impressed. I'm pretty sure if I had just snuck that level 5 in, I think I would have won, just barely. It's kind of hard to kite him around, too. He's very mobile. I'm wondering what we should switch our summoners to right now, to be honest. I'm having a, an internal dialogue right now. I think TP might be all right, but I don't know how long the cooldown's going to be. Can't be in combat for this. We're just gonna clear all this farm out. We're getting harassed pretty heavy, but that's, you know, that's part of the game. You play this type of champion, you're playing probably, Kassadin would probably fall under, in, at least in my opinion, as one of the weakest, absolutely weakest champions in the game. Early, anyways. Just keep chilling, poke him down, stack your tier up. Remember that you have the TP to reset with here, if you need to. We just slow him down. Those those E's, uh, don't underestimate the power of a good slow on cast, and a lot of people have a tendency to do that. All right, we're gonna reset with Telly right now. We're gonna come back with our, we're gonna build towards Tabby's right now. I know that I said this guy doesn't normally build boots and he doesn't, but he, de oh, I can stay here for this. I don't think he can kill me here. I have exhaust coming up as well. Oh, I got owned there, but he did have flash up still. I'm gonna TP top. I could have actually art out of that if I was a little bit more careful. I'm gonna build double armor here, and I'm gonna TP on top of the wave. I'm gonna TP the tower here. So this open is about as hard as an open that you can get. Like teammates giving your laner. It, basically, Aatrox would be a pretty tough lane to begin with. I, I don't see how it would ever be an easy lane for this build or play style. Yes, I know. I know you have no jungle control. I am very well aware of how badly you're doing, my man. This guy does not have any flash right now. 
Hounds on a killing spree. If you notice though, this isn't that bad of a position to be in. At least in my humble opinion. I mean, sure, we're behind, but we are still blocking tower. As a top laner, we're still being super annoying in that we're tough to dive. In 20 seconds, we're going to be impossible to dive. We'll have exhaust. We'll have barrier. All the tools we need. And we are going to scale pretty hard ourselves. Just poke at him a little bit, tilt him a little bit. He's pretty, he's getting pretty cocky here. I might be able to find a play. Might be able to find a play. This is so fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> this is the cheesiest fucking shit. Okay, Hecarim's bottom. Let's try to get a shove in. Absolute cheese fest fucking strat right here. He's trying to TP into us, so we're just gonna calmly jump away. <laughs> we're gonna reset. Oh boy. What is this garbage? What is this ridiculousness? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build towards my armor items early here. Build towards that frozen heart right away and just keep stacking our tier up. Thankfully we're casting and we can get in position pretty fucking quick. This is kind of neat. This is, I can see how this works from a macro level for sure. He's mad as fuck. All right, we used a lot of our mana getting here, but it, it blocks tower. We also have stopwatch, do not forget. And we have our flash up. I'm not too scared of this dude. He just can't do anything to us. We're just here. We're just a brick. It's like he can feel his frustration. It reminds me of Gangplank in a way where it's like he wants to do aggressive things. But he really can't, you know? I don't know how I don't get any more value out of you. Just gonna have to chill, stand fast. I can't help you. Oh, oh, that defense was almost massive. We definitely pushed it to the limit there on defense. Aatrox no flash, I think. We're gonna come back in. They still haven't broken tower yet. Keep in mind our jungler is getting shit on and fed our lane. And we're still... We're, we've got a very interesting uh, build up happening. Let's just keep cruising. Keep building this out. I mean, this is the perfect type of game to test this shit. It's like teams are feeding, but it's all AD. All right, I don't have my stopwatch. I actually could sell it. I noticed that he sells it a lot. My team's still inting. The inting never stops. Alright, 
We got our frozen heart that we can get if we want. Have a hard time keeping track of the Aatrox cooldowns. All right, let's back up here and maybe teleport forward. I'm still debating it. Uh, can try to get him to dive us. We have to haul ass out of here. Oh shit, I could have buried out. I don't know, this is pretty, uh, it's a pretty interesting game. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. We have a team, we have a team that was hell-bent on making this as difficult as possible. But I think that if I had more experience with this, this would be okay. Let's see if we can still make it work. Oh, Talon. Why? I don't know about all that. Seven deaths on fried chicken. We use our barrier and our exhaust there. We're gonna still scale pretty hard. We're farm our farm is not that bad. I mean we're getting a bunch of kills right now, so I'm alright with this. And just like that, we're back in the game with our scaling champ. We didn't really do anything fancy, but I think this is normally how lanes are going to look. Like, you're going to get shit on in lane. That's just how it is. Hopefully, we can start doing something with this. Let's see. Go for this. I mean, why would I even want this item? I think, I think we're actually perfectly fine. Just keep building out tank items. Let's just double down. We have scaling. We have scaling, boys. That's one thing we for sure have. Weird, weird summoners. Let's get a, let's get a heal going. And I guess one thing that we can do right now is we can start jamming lanes, because we have a lot of pushing power. We're pretty tough to fight, as you can see by the Kiana backing down. Once our rift walk cools down, we'll start hopping. Udyr is fighting a... Wait, is he soloing Baron? Udyr carries. Dude, I don't even know what's happening. Uh, I need to learn from whatever that shit is. Really tanky now, and we're pretty hard to push out as you can see. We're just battling. You know Baron won't help us, right? All right, everyone, that's what you guys comment if we make it through this video. Baron won't help us. Quotes of the noobs. Look at this shit. We're pretty hard to beat. Look at this shit. What the fuck?
I am so weirded out right now. It is actually, this is the weirdest build, but it scales so hard. Because when someone is, is, is in Challenger in Korea, like, there's a reason. It looks really stupid. Like, we're getting shit on in lane, like I said. We're getting dumpstered. But, like, imagine if I was a little bit warmer on Cassidy. Imagine if my team doesn't int in the beginning. The game actually looks playable once you get to these items. Uh, we'll go with, we, we can't teleport. Uh, we'll go with Ignite. Fuck it. And Udyr is popping the fuck off, dude. This kid just soloed Baron outright. And these kids are losing now. I don't think I've ever seen a Udyr solo in that situation. I think we can just jump on this Ash's head. Yeah. We'll just reset here. So we'll just go take our blue and we'll get Archangel Staff. So, um, for those who are wondering, what would you build on this if you, if you weren't facing all AD? Well, for starters, what you're looking for is basically Abyssal Mask in the if the opposite situation arises. So if you're facing an AP lane. And here, I mean, I didn't have to balance AP and AD at all because they went all AD. Uh, we're not gonna back here because that fight's happening. We'll just keep cruising. And our tier is, is full up. Use our Sunfire Cape to quickly push, get out of the way. We're really hard to kill still because of our. We're level 16. So we're gonna be tough to no, to lock down. I guess from here I would just go Thorn Mail, right? Like that's what the guy does, and we'll keep our. Yeah, we'll keep our Corrupting Pot just a little bit longer. And now we have Archangel Step <laughs> finished its Seraphs. Okay, interesting scaling build. Okay, I'm down. Pretty tough to beat. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible, dude. This is awesome. Alright, I'm dead if I fuck with him. I'm gonna reset here. We can just rant, run forward with Baron at this point. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even understand. <laughs> I was so bad at this too. I mean, I play Cassidy, but like, playing Cassidy into Aatrox top, long lane with like, with like no hope of of getting farm without getting slapped on. That's like worst case scenario for this build. So I think this is a pretty good demo to be honest, man. Like, this is real neat. Okay, so there's the Korean Challenger Cassidy build. 
I don't know, man. I, I definitely want to mess with this some more. Um, I'm probably going to do it on a different account. It's so weird. And with the with the um, unsealed spell book, you're swapping out summoners, and it just makes things mad. Like, you, you have these, like, really defensive summoners, and then you can loosen up and go offensive summoners. And then you also have this weird, these weird, like, tanky damage. It reminds me of the old meta with, like, Iceborne Sunfire. I mean, our damage is nuts. We didn't tank, like, even though we're building tank, we didn't tank a bunch of damage, really. But I guess over time, you're going to get beefier and beefier. I guess the tank <laughs> items is to just get you through top lane, maybe. Like, that's really what it's about, is that you just can't get fucking obliterated up there. So, I don't know. Good good job for Udyr doing the weird Baron solos. Uh, that kept us, kept us in the game and then allowed us to do big things. And if I was better at this strategy, I probably wouldn't have died as much early and it would have been fine. Um, so, yeah, I guess the, the, the key here is to just... Is to not judge a book by its cover. Because I, I was unaware of how weirdly strong this build is after it hits certain power spikes. So, versus all AD team, obviously that build, if you're facing like AP, then you would go... Uh, abyssal mask and then you would try to balance out depending on how much ap and ad there is um yeah guys so there it is there's the tank cast and i don't know how to pronounce this guy's fucking name it's a korean name we could probably put his op.gg in the uh in the description and uh yeah let me know what you guys think is it trash is it is it legit i i think it i think it has some potential if you can navigate the lane phase and the difficulty there and scale i think it's pretty good all right love you guys i'm out peace crack and see you for the next one later guys